So in our reading from 1 Corinthians, we hear this lesson about growing up in the faith. Paul writes about the seasons, planting and then watering, and the different people that were there, you know, in these different times, Paul and then Apollos. But then we have the reminder of this truth, that God is the one who is there always, who causes the growth um, through all the seasons, from sprout to harvest. Paul mentions being fed with milk rather than solid food when it comes to their theology and spirituality, because that's where they're at as they grow and mature in their faith. And it kind of makes me wonder, where are we at in that maturity of faith? And, and maybe also, what does that look like? What does being mature in the faith look like? Let's move to the gospel. This can be a very poignant lesson when we read it in context and think about what that equates to in today's culture. I think there is a thread kind of running through both of these readings about growth and maturity. Um, and really it's this, finding the next step. Find the next step. Go further. Do more than just the bare minimum, just the baseline. You know, go further. You've heard it said, don't murder? Okay, great. Yes. <laughs> but how about also, don't hold on to anger. Don't hold a grudge. Don't hold on to damaging gossip about your neighbor. I mean, you know, think about what, what would it mean to say you fool in today's culture, right? Settle differences, make amends before it goes too far, um, before it goes so far that it's out of your hands. Don't commit adultery. Okay. Yes, again. <laughs> but how about making sure others are safe around you, that you know it and that they do too? That takes it a little further. That is kind of that next step. And even the item on divorce is tied to a sort of um, social and economic safety in context, especially for women in this area era. Um, because of how the social structure worked at the time, simply dismissing someone could really leave them vulnerable and unsafe. Today's culture is a little different, but that idea of safety and seriousness of relationships, it, it does remain, you know. So again, make sure others are safe around you, that, that you know it and they do too. Don't hold anger or grudges or damaging gossip settle things before they go too far, so far that you can't do anything anymore. Go further. Do more than the, than the bare minimum on these things. Grow. Find the next level. And you know, in finding that next level, in, in finding that next step, we end up taking ourselves a little closer to a holistic and healthy community and society. All of these things are about how we live with one another, how we relate to one another in community. And many of these things may seem like common sense, and really, they are sort of that cliche, you know, um, ounce of prevention ideas, because the thing Jesus names after, but I say, are still hurtful. And if left unchecked, could lead to some serious damage. Of course, this goes beyond the examples listed here, beyond just these things. Um, we can do more and go further in so many ways. We just need to be intentional about that and approach um, and, and look for ways to, to live that out. Now that sounds like growth and maturity being intentional about that approach and, and finding ways to go a step further, go beyond uh, and do more than just the bare minimum. And again, all of these things do sound like a way to become a community that does live into the faithful flourishing God would have for us, uh, the community that grows well 
And as we grow, we remember who is there at the heart of that inspiration and work. Not Paul, not Apollos, not Pastor Sarah or any other minister that you may remember. But God. God causes the growth and guides us along the way as we mature in our faith. May you always remember that God is walking with you and has been, is, and will be there through all the seasons. So you can go ahead, find that next step, and take it. Amen.